Minecraft 117 brings us brand new mobs with some pretty unique game mechanics. But there is one so rare that you have probably never seen it live and in person. The blue axolotl. How rare is this little beauty? 1 in 1200. That means that every time that the game spawns a new axolotl, there's only a 0.083% chance that it's blue. Not to mention that these little guys are about to become a lot more rare once 1.17.1 drops because you can only get them by breeding. Which, by the way, takes two buckets of tropical fish to make one baby axolotl. So not only is this one of the rarest mob variants in the game, it also also requires one of the most intensive breeding foods. But luckily I have an obsessive personality and will allow this challenge to consume every spare minute I have until the goal is accomplished, disregarding all personal and professional relationships for the betterment of probably no one at all, including myself, as even if and when this task is complete, I'll have nothing to show for other than a slightly different colored group of pixels shaping a blocky caricature. All for the sake of attempting to gain viewer interest and convince you guys to like this video and to share it with your friends and family to increase view counts and in turn gain monetary revenue from YouTube so I can continue to feed my family. So uh... Let's get to work. Since this challenge could take days or even weeks to accomplish, we're gonna need to streamline the process a little bit. And because tropical fish only spawn in certain biomes like this one, I think this is the perfect spot for a temporary farm. Do it, 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 do it. Dang it! The Exolotalizer 9000 is complete. Let me show you how it works. So essentially, if I was a fish, right, I would get sucked up in this little tunnel of bubble elevators. I'd be pushed up into this, right? And this is where all the tropical fish get put. And once they're up here, I can just pop down and go up, up, up. That's not, that's not at all. That's not it. That's not it. I'm so sorry. You see what I'm saying though? Look at this. It's crazy. There's so many tropical fish. It's like the perfect tropical fish farm. Anyway, so I get a couple tropical fish. I head up our handy dandy ladder right here. I say, make a baby. Make a baby. They get a little frisky and boom, they made a baby. You're granted, it's not the blue one. Guys, uh, can you please just, you know, I need you to try. This is going to take a really, really long time. <laughs> now, for the record, I have only bred seven animals at this point. I'm curious what this goes to once I actually have bred up enough to get the blue axolotl. Take your bets, ladies and gentlemen. pretty annoying flaw with the axolotlizer 9000. Since the sides of the water elevator are open, the tropical fish keep falling out and despawning. But to fix that, I think we can just use a lava bucket to encase the whole thing in cobblestone. Oh, right. Maybe I should just play sand instead. And I know just the man to help us. How's it going, dude? It's good. How are you? I wondered what was going on with this then. Uh, I'm so dumb. That's quite cool. I never knew it did that. <laughs> oh, it's very dangerous. I actually didn't either. Ah, oh no. <laughs> I never knew Sam did this. I didn't either. This is really weird. <laughs> oh, there's a puffer fish. Perfect. Oh, let's see if we can get him. Oh, yeah. And he got me as well. You have one chance here, puffer fish. You can either live <laughs> if you go one way or you die if you go another. You can't stay ah. here. I have a better idea. Hold on. Let's do it. With oh no. Ah, 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 he chose, ah, he chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough messing around. We have some serious breeding to get done. So I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious over here. I have bred about 200 of these guys so far uh, and it is just a madhouse. I'm not even touching the keyboard. See, hands, hands free. They're just pushing me around. This is great. This is my whole, my dream has finally come true. An axolotl spa is about to take place. Nibble on my toes and eat the dead skin, you disgusting little creatures. Anyways, uh, I may have also just broken the server. Maybe. I don't know if it's really my fault or not, but there's a lot of these little guys in a very small space. But you know why we do it? We do it for science, ladies and gentlemen, science. Anyways. 
back to work. Oh boy, I'm over a thousand breeds in and I haven't found a blue axolotl yet, but I have found another fatal flaw in our plan here. So as it turns out, there's a fish cap in Minecraft, as in only so many fish can spawn on the server at one time, and since there's so many people on, guess where all the fish are? Right here in the shopping district, where Civ is building a shop, which is actually a really funny shop that you can go watch in his latest episode. So until the fish come back, we are out of commission. But with this obsessive personality, I can't just stop. So how to pass the time? Well, I mine for diamonds, fixed a broken villager breeder, mine some more diamonds, on a dragon with chief, twice, mine for more diamonds, checked out an awesome underground pyramid that Wreck built, and then mine for more diamonds. And when I came back to the Axolotlizer 9000, something unimaginable had happened. The fish, uh, <laughs> the, they're, they're, they're back, so we can uh, keep, keep breeding, I guess. <laughs> uh, Quick, Gwendola, distract the viewers with a sparkly transition. Great job, Gwen. Now, if you guys remember at the very start of this video, I said the odds of getting a blue axolotl is one in 1,200. Well, we're here at number 1,200, and guess what? No blue axolotl. I'm officially in the quote unlucky category. There's only one thing that we can do from here. <sighs> I didn't want to have to do this, but we need it. The ABM, the axolotl breeding montage. Hit it. cool about this whole project is that this farm has evolved so much since we started seriously just look at this so this is the fish breeder just cranking out fish and you see that puffer fish that's like the first puffer fish i've seen in forever because i've discovered that if you have a puffer pit right there it really seems to affect how many puffer fish actually pop up in the world so it's actually kind of cool i've also kind of altered the way that the breeding center works so there is this giant breeding space that we've seen a thousand times already but i've also added and extended this whole baby breeder section and what happens is basically these trap doors right here all of the babies hop up on there now whenever i hold a fish all the babies come swimming through from underneath the little pit over there and they end up right here now what happens to the babies from here they're taken to a very great home they are definitely not killed right here that would be terrible but even with all of the renovations that i've made to this farm we are 1786 breeds at this point and i'm about ready to give up i'll be honest what do you think little guy ah that's right i got one i got a blue one Oh my gosh, 1,700 breeds into this thing, and I finally got my little baby blue boy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We have to feed him. Oh, we have to make him grow big and strong. I don't know if he'll ever despawn, but if you do, I'll be so freaking mad dude i'll be so mad okay just never ever leave me now you're probably wondering what i'm gonna do with this beautiful baby well as in any good economic society i'm gonna trade beauty for profit i.e uh i'm gonna sell the baby blue axolotl to dc for 30 blocks of diamonds so <laughs> let's go get rich hello my friend previa how are you hello Hello, oh, I'm doing fine. Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna get really poor in a second here. All right, are you ready? I present to you. Just look at it. That's Take it a in. Blue axolotl. Breathe it in, oh my, my friend. It you in and I are gonna be best friends. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Man, thank you, thank you very much. And now the thing you've been waiting for. Oh, that's right. A fair trade ready. for a blue axolotl. Take oh, all these beautiful oh, diamond blocks. It's Wonderful. <laughs> it was worth 1,700 breeds. Oh, man. Thank you so much. That's oh. insane. Now, don't say anything. I know you probably think me as a heartless fool for selling my child like that, but you're wrong because, alas, I did not sell my child. I sold my grandchild because this little beauty right here, this is the original blue axolotl that all other blue axolotls will come from on this server. 
You, my friend, are my favorite source of income. I mean friendship. Speaking of friendship, my friend Siv has been putting out some bussin' content, and if you like what we do around here, you'll definitely like what he's cooking up over there. And if you go and check it out, make sure you let him know that Branzy sent you. And as always, tune in for the next one.